an overview of Enritzu's IQ Sigma Master software suite, a complete set of applications running on a standard Windows PC to help you capture, import, and organize your IQ data files, play back IQ files with fine time resolution and spectrogram displays, and analyze IQ data sets to measure common modulation standards and view 5G frame data. IQ Sigma Master is a complete solution helping you maximize your investment in Android 2 Spectrum Analyzers. IQ Sigma Master supports all of Android 2's latest products, including the Field Master and Field Master Pro, and Android 2's remote spectrum monitors. Whether you are dealing with a few milliseconds or a few hours of IQ data, IQ Sigma Master lets you visualize, explore, and analyze the signals you are interested in. IQ Sigma Master, the key that unlocks your data and the full utility of your Android 2 Spectrum Analyzer. IQ Auto Capture with IQ Signal Master. Scheduled IQ Capture across multiple spectrum analyzers and at defined frequencies and bandwidths. Using Auto Capture, multiple remote locations can be monitored at fixed intervals with full IQ data storage, replay, and analysis. In our continuing series of uh, videos on Anutsu's IQ Signal Master, we would like to look uh, now at the auto capture feature. This is new in the January 2023 release um, of the IQ Master, or IQ Signal Master. This is uh, a tool that allows you to set up a schedule uh, for uh, capturing IQ data. Um, pretty simple interface here. You, have, you can set up a number of, of remote monitors, and this supports either um, the, the Signal Master Pro or the Remote Spectrum Monitor. So you can you can do either of those families of instruments. But, but whatever you pick, then all of the, the monitors need to be the same because you're going to define uh, channels uh, uh, to do the capture, at, so frequency and bandwidth and, and so on. And, and for the different uh, analyzer families, the allowed bandwidths are, are different. And so they're not, you can't uh, mix and match here and be able to define a, a set of channels to collect IQ data on. So, so you pick one, and in this case, um, I've, got, I've, got, I've already added three, and they are the RSM variety. I can click on one of these and, and get information about it, um, including the location. And if I click on that, then it'll open up uh, in Google Maps and show them where it's at. Um, so, and you can add and, and delete. So if I wanted another one, I could hit that and, and add. So, and this list can be as long as you choose. Um, obviously the long, you can set um, a capture interval. And if you, know, if you make it one minute and then you add uh, two dozen remote monitors, I don't know that you'll be able to do one minute. It just depends on, on the capture parameters. Um, Right, but you can set this up from one minute to, to, to one day, essentially. So if you just want to do a capture at midnight every night, then, then that's possible. Or if you want to do every five minutes, then that's possible as well. And then, you, and so then you can create channels. Um, and, and I have one here. I could, I could add another one. Maybe I'm interested in maybe the LTE band. Um, so then we would do. Uh, you know, bandwidth that's appropriate and, and so on. 16-bit um, is often good for this. Uh, you can choose 32 bits, but that's not always, it takes longer. Files are bigger and so decide whether you, you need that. Um, and, and I can double click one of these and edit it. Um, or I can, I can uh, remove, so I can select one and remove or add. And, and this allows me to edit as well. So let's see, let's double click. And once that's defined, and I, I think for the test, I'm just going to have one active here. So we'll just do this. So I have these three RSMs uh, specified and a, and a channel. And if I just hit capture now, it'll go out and do it immediately. Um, and that takes, uh, you know, it's it's busy. This little light kind of flashes and these buttons are disabled because it's it's already doing stuff. There's a process log that kind of tells you that it you know, succeeded. It, it downloaded uh, essentially 360 kilobytes of data from each of those three RSMs. 
Um, and here I have a, a file list, and I'm going to refresh this. Um, so here's Monday, December 12th is the day that I'm doing that. Uh, files that I have. And um, as, as, so if I hit auto capture then and then I and I create a schedule. So in this case, every five minutes and every five minutes it would go and do the same thing. And this this process log would get longer as as time went on, and and this list would get longer. And then I could come and, and look at those things. Um, that's not a very good frequency. It looks like I'm right in the middle of a, a signal, but. Um, and basically that's it. So the, the files are stored in uh, every day. It creates a file, and all of the all of the work that's done that day is in that same file. And I can come in here and I can I can look at them and and see what the signal is that was collected. Um, but they're not individually available. Um, so if I wanted to, to say um, I had a signal and I wanted to do um, an, anal an analysis or play it back or something, then I would need to export it. Um, so I could come here and just, so I've, I've selected a file and I can say export. And then it'll ask me where I want to save it to and, and, and it defaults to where that file is. So I do that and now it's, it loaded it automatically because I selected that box and so now I can come down for instance to playback and then that file is here so that's just an easy way to do an auto capture um, and collect a bunch of, of files from a, a set of uh, remote spectrum monitors or, or the Fieldmaster Pro uh, at fixed uh, channels and Thank you.